Game two of the Atlantic Hockey first round playoff series between RIT and Sacred Heart. First period, just seven minutes in. The Tigers strike first. The captain, Miles Powell, puts in the loose puck past the diving Brent Magnus. His 12th on the year gave the Tigers the early 1-0 lead. But less than a minute later, Sacred Heart answered right back as Jackson Barland beats Logan Drackett to tie the game at one. Late in the first period, Tigers on their first power play of the night, and they would capitalize as Chase Norris feeds Miles Powell, and Powell nets his second of the game to put RIT back in front by one. But once again, just moments after RIT would take the lead, the Pioneers pulled even again. Mark Johnstone scoring just 32 seconds later, but we were tied at two. Late in the period, four on four hockey, Gabe Valenzuela thinking he put the Tigers in front, but the play would be reviewed and the goal taken away as RIT was called for being offside. It stayed 2-2 until the third when Eric Brown broke the deadlock with his team leading 29th goal on the season. And the Tigers were back in front 3-2. Under two minutes to play in the third, Sacred Heart pulling their goaltender for the extra attacker and it pays off for the Pioneers as Austin McElmurray ties the game with just 106 remaining and for the second straight night we were headed to overtime. In fact it would go three overtimes before this one was finally decided and it's Jackson Barlian with the game winner for Sacred Heart. The Pioneers force a deciding game three on Sunday after a 4-3 triple overtime victory over RIT ending the longest game in RIT Division I history.